the watch I've got here on my wrist, I've already reviewed and this is different. The reason I decided to get this watch on the channel is because number one, it's grade five titanium. The original version was in stainless steel and I was quite impressed with the quality finish, the execution, the case. And I wanted to see number one, if in grade five titanium, will they be able to keep the same standard? Secondly, that guilloche dial is actually purple and it's their most popular color and a lot of people missed out. So they decided to bring it back in the titanium grade five version, but that's that's not the clincher for me because when they emailed me and they said they're gonna do a Willy Wonka-ish sort of a draw, in other words, they're gonna have three Willy Wonka style tantalum tickets and to the best of their knowledge, the only three known tantalum braceleted watches that have ever been made in the world are the AP Royal Oak for the King of Spain. Secondly, you've got an FP Jean that was auctioned for two million Swiss francs. And thirdly, an LV Tambour, Jean Arnaud's personal watch. Now, what Atelier One has decided to do in the period they'll be selling the watches from the 7th to the 21st, if you're one of those people who have bought this watch, randomly they're going to put in three of those boxes a brand new full tantalum prototype instead of the titanium watch i've got here in my hands as well as a physical ticket out of tantalum that interested me because i thought at least it's something different but i'm actually keen to see these people that are going to get the tantalum watches whether the quality is as good as the stainless steel and whether this is as good as the stainless steel because that's the reason the main reason i got this on the channel so without further ado, let's flip the camera and let's check out this watch. For those who remember, just recently I reviewed a blue version of this watch. And for a watch coming out of China, it really left an impression on me. Because what I found as far as the quality, the finishing, the execution, the bracelet, the dial, there really was no discernible difference to many of the high-end watches I've handled from Swiss, Germans, or even the French. Now, the watch that I've got in my hand is essentially the same watch, but it's not. Because this is grade 5 titanium. And I've got to say, guys, I can't see any difference in quality, polishing, brushing, from the stainless steel version, except this only weighs 87 grams. And that's pretty impressive. Now, it's not all roses. I've actually found two or three gripes on this watch that I want to share with you guys. But overall, I must say I'm very impressed in the quality and execution of what's coming out of this brand. Now, the watch's specifications have essentially not changed, except in one area, and that's the weight, because this is a grade 5 titanium case and bracelet. The watch still comes in at 40mm with an impressive height of 10.2. That crown is still a 5.8mm sign screw down crown. The watch still offers 100 meters of water resistance. Now the total weight on the watch comes in at 87 grams as compared to the original which was 129. And the beauty of this thing is that the wearability is exactly the same. Except it's featherweight. You cannot feel this thing on the wrist. It is so light. Now, I get excited when companies can produce a product this good. It doesn't come without a cost. And I think a lot of that cost comes to the fact that that dial is a hand-turned guilloche dial by China's sole guilloche master craftsman, Cheng Yukai. I think the fact that it's handmade and not a press dial alongside the execution and finishing of that case, this is a real impressive piece. Now, turning the watch over, you can see that case back still features that smiley lion. It's got the same movement, the Peacock SL155A. It's an automatic caliber, around 41 hours, and it's adjusted in five positions. And this particular model also features a purple rotor to match that dial. Now, I put this watch on a time grapher, and as you can see, it's running at about plus four seconds per day, give or take. Now, that's very good, albeit you cannot hack that movement when you unwind the crown and you pull it out, it still continues to move. That is one area which I think some of us as enthusiasts really would have loved to see changed. But in order to compensate for that case height, they kept it as is. So in that area, for me personally, it's a little bit of a letdown. Now, I did mention that this case and bracelet are all titanium grade 5. And in my eyes, the execution is no different from the stainless steel. They've really done a great job here. You've still got the slider, as you can see, and that clasp, which offers that micro adjustability on the fly. So you just press that logo 
you can get about a centimeter of micro adjustability, which is absolutely sublime. And speaking of that bracelet, there is no denying that it's inspired from the Vacheron 222, the watch that Brad Pitt likes to wear on casual days. It is extremely refined, and again, no difference from the stainless steel version. I think by using grade 5 titanium, this is an example of what can be done from some of the best factories coming out of China. And I know there's a stigma with China because a lot of people associate Chinese stuff with sweatshops and cheap labor and what have you, but this is not what we're talking about here. Now, turning my attention to the loom of the watch, as I mentioned in my first review, very cool. Each segment of that motif represents an individual minute and it's beautifully loomed. It's not dive watch loom. It is, after all, a dressier sports watch. And for that genre, it's really nice. And it brings a smile on your face when you go from a sunny day indoors and look at your wrist. Now, one thing that I really like from this particular release, from the original, is the actual packaging. The original finished a high gloss finish on that case. And it was a fingerprint scratch magnet. Although it looked amazing, it was really hard to keep clean. And this particular one is a matte finish and something that you could potentially use on your desk as a display unit to put your watch, to put your tools. I think it's a smarter choice. Now, all that said, I didn't mention that I found some room for improvement on this watch, on this particular model. And for me, it's a limited edition, which for me, I've never been a fan of limited editions. Totally unnecessary for companies to do that, whether major brands or micro brands, and it just creates unnecessary hype. And when you might be thinking about getting something, but you need to spend a bit more time researching or saving some money, you end up missing out. And that's again with any brand, major or micro. Next, as I mentioned, there is no hacking. It's not a deal breaker for a dress style watch, but having a watch that runs pretty accurate at plus three or four seconds per day and you can't hack it, you can't really set the times. So it's something to think about. Now, in my room for improvement or gripe section, I could have also mentioned the price as a gripe. I don't think that's really relevant here because this is a lot of watch. Just from that dial alone, the titanium and the exceptional finishing goes, guys, this is really well made. It's really well made. It's really well finished. That clasp and adjustment system is one of the finest I've ever seen. And if we can get over this hurdle of the watch is coming out of China and the stigma that is associated with that, maybe people can look at a piece for what it is and how it actually performs and the amount of work that's gone behind that dial and design. I think then you can get an appreciation of what I have here in my hand. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think of this watch or this brand. I've not been able to find too many gripes, apart from the small issues I did mention in this review. I think if this was a Swiss watch, you'd be really digging deep for a lot more money to get something executed this well. And that's where I think the standpoint of where this company is coming from. They're offering something with a lot of finesse, a lot of beauty, and not cheaply made, but actually executed at a really high level. And in that department, I think this watch has done well. Thanks for watching. Be well, be safe. Enjoy that watch that's on your wrist at the moment. Enjoy this hobby. Enjoy each other. Be nice to each other. Be nice to me. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one.